Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I got a quick tip for you for issues with adrenaline. If you've installed the SD to Vita adapter into your PlayStation Vita, and then you go to install adrenaline using the Vita custom firmware guide, what ends up happening is after you do the installation using the wizard tool that they provide for adrenaline, when you try to launch adrenaline, you get a black screen. So I'm going to show you how to resolve that black screen issue today. So what we go ahead and do here is use our FTP client to connect to the Vita. And we can see here because I'm using the SD to Vita adapter. I'm going to go to UR0 and then tie. And then within tie, we're going to grab this config.txt. You can edit this directly on the Vita. And a lot of the guides will show you doing that. But I, I'm not a fan. I'm trying to edit text files like this on a little touch screen. So I've just copy this file to the computer. And then once you've got a copy of the computer, you want to open up that config text. You want to make sure you open it with a text editor like Notepad++ or something like that. Don't open this in Windows Notepad because the Vita uses a Linux file system and the line terminator characters are different on Linux and Windows. So if you edit this in a regular text editor, then it probably won't work when you copy it back to your Vita. Okay, so we're going to open up this file and then what we're going to do is when you take a look at the file, you'll notice here where you see the directive that has the asterisk kernel. This is the list of modules to load into the kernel when the Hankaku boots up. After you run the Adrenaline installer, you'll see typically that the SKPRX kernel module will be directly underneath this kernel directive line, which indicates that this is the first kernel module that we're instructing the Hankaku to load. And that's not what you want. If you're using no NPDRM module or the game SD module, which is for the SD to Vita, these modules have to load before the adrenaline module loads. This may not be the case if you've got an adrenaline installed on the memory card, the UMAO0 device instead of the UX0. But in my case, I've got my 120 gigabyte SD card as the UX0, the primary device. So uh, in that case, what you have to do is you have to take this line here that says UX0 colon adrenaline, adrenaline.skprx. And then you just got to take this line, which will be right directly underneath the kernel directive. Just move it down below the no NPDRM and the game SD definitions. So the, or the load order for the kernel modules will start with the game SD, then it will go to the no NPDRM, then it will go to the adrenaline. And just by moving the adrenaline down and rebooting your system, that should resolve your black screen issue. So you just uh, make the edit here, and then what you want to do is you obviously want to file, you want to save the file, and then once the file is saved, you got to make sure that you come back here and you... FTP it back. So you just grab config text, drag it over here, copy it here, and you click yes to overwrite the existing file. And then you would just disconnect the FTP session and you're ready to go. Reboot the video, you should be good to go. So now you should be able to launch Adrenaline. It should work correctly and it should be loading your PSP games correctly. I hope this video was helpful for you. We'll talk to you later.